Well, we've got nothing against the street events. I just think that the street events should be street events. And big car events, big tyre events should be big tyre events. So if we're going to run events, um, it's easier for us to come to the track like today where we can test, where we can do 10 runs, see what we need to see, do what we need to do. And we're not in the way of the little cars and the little cars aren't in our way. But we just believe this now it comes a time where you've got to split big cars from the small cars and the big cars got to start doing their own events and holding their own stuff. So today is like a test run to see what it's like and how it's going to work and what we're going to do. And then must probably be events for smaller cars that are going to race and for bigger cars, the cars with the slicks that are going to put down lots of rubber and we, we want to go quick. You can't have 120 big cars in a field. You know, it's just not possible. So it will be much smaller, much more focused. But it's time that we start to, to, to split the two and run drag racing and street racing on a track. Joel and Wally sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Well done, bro. Wally, how long have you been with MSA? 43 years, 44 years. So, so when the foot trick is? I was with him. Ugh. <laughs> What is your involvement at uh, As soon as you have any session where MSA permit is available, mm. then you have to have a CRC on, on hand just in case anything goes wrong because of public liability and so forth. Oh, cool. So they pretty much covered all their bases at there. Medics, everything. You guys. Everything. It's cool, huh? So it doesn't really matter what, what doesn't go wrong, it's what, when it goes wrong. Right now, nothing has gone wrong, so we're very happy with that. We'll have to just wait and see. Okay, Your favourite track ever? Joel, I think that's actually a hard one. Eh? You've just... Mm, I don't know. Um, um, it would have to be Dalton. Eh? I can't think of any other track that we've really had. Drags? Yeah! West Bank was also good. West Bank was good, so... I would say it was between the two of them. Eh? Your favourite series that you ever officiated or were part of? Any national series is always a favourite series. Every national. However, you can uh, go back to a couple of, uh, I remember some speed and sound events, North versus South, that uh, I officiated at. Good events, but um, I still think nationals are more better event. Your favourite one of your favorite cars that you're always in love watching or seeing compete? Um, you know, Nico's got some good cars and they, he drives them very well. So whenever Nico or anybody in his caliber gets into one of them, it's always a, a massive pleasure to watch. Yeah. Your most memorable incident? The Toyota that rolled at the bottom of the drag strip, yeah, Dalton. And... Uh, the blue one, is it Hot Wheels? That's the Hot Wheels one. And when I got out, he said, that was the worst anus that he's ever got. Nothing wrong with him though. We had made him do the rail cage over just a couple of months before the time. So I was very happy when that actually yeah. happened and he walked out and he just got out and yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And final question. Okay, this your is... your favorite Honda driver or racer that you've worked <laughs> with or officiated or have seen race or compete over your vast number of years? Joel, he's only one on the race. Eh? Yes, which one is that? And that's only Joel. Eh? That's right. Joel, I can remember from years riding a Honda. Eh? And yep. you were waiting for me to say that, yeah, weren't you? Because you were. You've awesome. always been awesome. always good in there. Any? Hey, Wally, here quickly. Pay him <laughs> some money. And uh, the judge? There's some changes. Yeah. We'll see. I was hoping to add the new wheels, but. Didn't have enough time. The hubs and stuff takes a lot of time. What's the setup on the Escort? It's a small block twin turbo. GT35 Gen 2 R turbo. Uh, with a fuel tech system, complete fuel tech system. Um, Mazen is, is, was really of assistance there. And the car is just, it's beautiful. It's, with a, with a, pro, it's a two speed Pro Glide gearbox, uh, nine, nine inch diff. What does it weigh? Uh, it weighs one, one to fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's funny. It's way shorter than the judge, and the judge is also about one two. Yeah. How do you feel like when like a Honda beats you and stuff? 
no Honda will ever beat me. Never. You bring any Honda. You know there's a Honda coming out soon. Yeah, I know. I know of everything. <laughs> they can bring it. Birds, little birds tell yeah, you everything. Yeah, I know everything. You know everything. Oh, but crazy. I really don't worry about it. Because this is what I want to do. Yeah. This is what's racing all about. So tell us, what, what's happening today? What? This is the new way forward. This is the, the new me and Craig Zanks. And, you know, it's tired of politics, tired of people, tired of stories, tired of getting to events. And you always just seem to throw money at it and you're trying to keep people happy and satisfied. You know, if you want to get things sorted, start at your own home. And this is what we're doing. Yeah. So we're going to start doing this. And then every now and again, that you need to change your course. It's part of our game. It's part of what we want to do. So the more we change the course, the more we're going to up and play between and amongst each other and give our crew a chance to, to basically, you know, get seat hours yeah. and enjoy it with us. You guys going to be supporting other events or just, you're just going to... This year it's typical sabbatical racing year for us, the two of us. We're going to do our thing across South Africa. We're going international. Um, both of us has got cars there, so we're going to race there. World Cup final, we're looking at planning it, maybe, maybe not. I'm glad for everybody who performs and I'm glad for everybody who, who do their thing and it can support other events and stuff, but I think it's a good thing that we find ourselves again. I think people forget a, the whole idea of what racing is all about. What is racing? I mean, racing is enjoying what you've got, competing with each other, not trying to, to be better than anybody else. So if we were so huge problem for a couple of guys, this is what we do. So we keep on racing, we'll carry on, we've got enough cars, we've got, and that's the only thing we want to do. It's simple, it's just enjoying racing again, coming back to what we believe in. Yeah. Okay, so what are the forecasts there is Judge, Thunder, Thunder, Thor, and Legend. Where's Papa Smith? It's almost done. What's happening there? What do you still need to do? Hey? There's some groceries in Papa Smith. Yeah, it's full bullet motor now. Mm. Um, my previous tuner stuffed up a very expensive motor. So we got everything better now. <laughs> Tell us why the car weed is like this all the time. What, what's wrong there? I mean, is, 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 is the driver? Is it the driver? Or is it the car? It's a it's a spectator. They so the spectators pay you to wheelie. Yes. Oh, you must be making a killing. I'm making a big killing. <laughs> yeah. uh, so surely the car's a bit damaged there in front. I mean, you've been wheeling all the time. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. it bends. It must bend. And every time I really fall, something bends. I bend it back. Bends again, I bend it back again, so eventually I must stop somewhere. <laughs> How's ah, she feeling? What's wrong? Low boost, yeah. obviously. And? So, but it, it feels like high boost. He it? says it's low boost. I'm telling him no, it's high boost, but we'll see. Okay. We're seeing two balls, so no. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, obviously, how's, how's the chair? Yeah, it's perfect. But obviously, those wheel, those tires, means nothing. Clean up and aisle two, aisle two, clean up, please. Someone's messed milk. Aisle two. That's it. Go on, going straight. That's it, go straight. 
The service manager is there is waiting for you. How's it? The manager is waiting there for you, as you can see. Go straight. I think the, um, the problem has been largely to do with national stopping. Um, our relationship with Talton is very good. Uh, we, we, we are friends, we get along really well and we, I think everybody is trying their best. But everybody needs to pull together if they're going to get this right. You can't have one or two guys pulling together and expecting Talton to do everything. Everybody moans, oh there's no traction, there's no this, there's no that, but nobody does anything about it. You really can't expect Talton to now say, oh well we're going to put in a hundred thousand rands worth of prep into it and uh, what are the racers going to do? So everybody's going to have to now say, are we serious about big cars? If we are, then put your hands in your pockets and let's start to do something. <laughs> Sounds nice. So that was just the first second pull to see how things are. Basically, it was a first pull lift, and then I went second and felt, but then I already unloaded it. Mm. So now what happens is track settling, and now we can let it rip. Tell us about this turbo that you fitted onto here. It's massive. It's, it's a GT 4720. Yeah. So it's got a. <coughs> it's, a 88. it's not that the, the housings are huge. But, but the comp wheel and the exhaust wheel is not that big. The comp wheel is like 88 mil and 120 at the back. And the exhaust wheel is also it's like 88 100. So it's not that big. Okay. Let's start to grow the sport, develop it. Mm. Not everybody sit there saying, you know, we, oh, then we're going to race overseas, do whatever. That, that doesn't help. Um, otherwise, our racing, yes. Cars aren't going to see big cars. I'll give you an example. Cars in Cape Town have never seen a Pro Mod run. Not one. Never seen it. Uh, guys down at Desi have seen our Pro Mods run one run, maybe two. That's it. So they see it in your magazine, they see it every now and then, but they haven't seen half the cars. So that's what's got to change. And unless we can start to get the cars out there and start to get them to a, form, a formula that's going to work for them, that's going to be a problem. Big cars are going to start to slowly have nowhere to race. of these type of cars. Uh, you go to any drag event, what you see is like a hundred golf hours. <laughs> They're everywhere. So when you see something like this, old school, old school turbinetic turbos, turbinetic wastegates. Lack up, man. Memories, eh? Yeah?
course the Super NSA is powered by a Honda. Are we going forward now? Are we going forward? Okay, I want the Honda to push the Supra. Let's go. Go Honda. Let's go. You guys see that shit? What is he doing? Pulling down the clutch. What? Pulling down the clutch. So it's got a slider clutch. So it was a clutch slide. So what's happening with that? It looks like the bolt has uh, started to shoot, although it's got a lock pin in, which will give it a degree either left or right, which changes, which makes the car move around while I'm trying Was to Was that ride. why you shot like that, Jimmy? Well done guys, well done man, you know if this was a Honda it would never have happened. <laughs> you agree with me again? I am with you again. <laughs> yeah, so this is just the pressure on top of the wastegate. Okay. So, uh, so I'm only controlling the pressure on top. Okay. So we're going to do a run then we're going to get feedback. And then we can see, must we go up with the pressure, down with the pressure, what we need to do. So Greg is going to come tell us, ah, when I pull off there's too much power, then mm. we will maybe go, this is now wheel speed. So we go on the wheel speed, we'll make it lower, so you understand, you mm. power time. Why don't you put the wheelie option on this car? Because it's, it's not a Honda engine in here. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and Yes, oh. I love the way you think. I had to speak the truth, right? <laughs> Okay, Jan, what are we doing now with the laptop? What's happening? Oh, they want us to check the boost now. The boost? Yeah. So More boost or low boost or what? What's uh, happening? They, this value here is, is the CO2. Yeah. It's the pressure on top of the wastegate. Okay. So I'm just checking it's about 2.6 bar pressure on top of it. 2.6 bar? Yeah, so I'm guessing we're going to get around about 2.2 bar boost. So I'm just making sure it's not maybe. Five more. I can look. Yeah. And the black one, what are you expecting of the black one today? Well, we ran seven, eight with her the last time. Uh, we've got a new combination, slightly bigger, so we're going to run the same amount of boost. Turbocom? Yeah, about 30, 30 pounds and have a look and see. Mm. So if it goes quicker, that's great. If it doesn't, well, then turn up the boost. Another way it works. Many believe this is a, not a street car. Um, is it a full chassis car? Yes. Does it have its glass in? Yes. Pretty much everything on the car. Um, it's got street tyres if we, if we want to ride it on the street, which we do. Would you want to ride it on the street? Hell no. It's, you know, it guzzles. Uh, it's got 7,000 cc injectors in there, so it guzzles fuel and that kind of stuff. And it's not quite as comfortable as uh, some other cars. Well, it's all
came loose basically. Came loose. All the bolts sheared off. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. What was the previous place? Uh, 9 2. 9 2. Yeah. Awesome, man. It's getting better, yeah. The car straight? Yeah, it went, it went pretty straight. It was intense. Like, from the first to second gear, it was very intense. I don't want to leave it because I thought if I'm going to leave it, I'm going to waste this ride because the launch was good. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, I'm just going to keep the foot down and shift it to second and hold on. Yeah, when I hit second, yes, it went. Do you want to fast now? Yeah, it's fast. It's a for me. I think at any stage people are going to start to feel slightly uh, uneasy about it and not comfortable and I think that's that's at the point where Ian and I are. But we're not unreasonable and we still here to grow the sport. We still here to do what we do. But I think it's time that you know people ac accused us of killing killing drag racing now because we're not taking part in all the different things. Okay. And that's a bit unfair, you know, so we are not racing South Africa, we're just two companies that take our racing quite seriously and enjoy it. It's now time that everybody else stands up and says, yeah we are, let's take it forward. Mm -hmm. Not just us, you know, we've been fighting for four years to get this thing going. Mm -hmm. Four years, and every time it's the same. So now it's everybody else's turn to put their hands in their pockets and say, we're serious about it, let's sit around the table, let's put something together and see where it goes. But we're not adverse to it at all. Mm. Not at all. We're doing this purely because, yeah, we ran out of 65 different options and the only option left was this. Mm. But it's nothing personal. You know, people think it's personal. It's not. Tuna Wars, I think, is a great event. I really do. I've supported it for four years. We've run every event. We've never missed one. And so is Rio. But it's, it is not designed for our cars. It's not designed for big cars. It's designed for street cars. Now, Desi events exactly the same and I mean Harry and all the guys down there Darren and them we're all good friends but once more you know, you've got 120 entrants you've got 42 pits okay what are we gonna do so it's just time that everybody becomes realistic about it and say if you want to see big cars run you need to have 10 15 big cars running you can't have 120 street cars running you put on track pipe street car lifts it Simple as that. Radials will lift track part. So we put down 50,000 rands with the track part and the guys lift it for us. It doesn't make sense. The last Tuna Wars was great because we prepped it three times. There were three preps now at a huge cost. And that's why the guys ran their times. But 
can't keep on doing that for everybody. It's not fair. Everybody else must also come to the party with us. So. Was it like being back at Tolton? Ah, oh, this is chilled. This is nice. Where'd you get the sucker? Joel's pocket. <laughs>